Good morning. Your girl is running late. I'm on my way to my first stop for the day. I'm stopping at the Diamonds Unleashed showroom to do an interview. So I'm going over my questions really quickly. Um, but yeah, I had to make my Starbucks stop. Um, yeah, the day gets started. I have to go here first and then I have to go to a showroom. It's kind of close. Hopefully the interview doesn't run over, but gotta do what I gotta do. Okay, yes. Kate, so nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Okay. This is so cute. Hi. This is Jacqueline. Have Hello. You met? No. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm oh my Jacqueline. god, I love it. I love your outfit. Oh, thank you. This is Serena Williams. Oh my goodness, is it? Well, not for Diamonds Unleashed, but just this piece. Yeah. I love thank it. Thank you. So cute. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for having me this yeah, morning. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Are Come have a seat. Okay. This space. I'm like obsessed with white, so when I came oh, in, it's all like Kara. everything all white. I was that's like, all Kara. <sighs> Here is your cup. <gasps> Be dazzled. It's oh, let me see your cars. Oh, they're press ons. Oh my god, I love them. Thank oh, you. So good. How cute. Thank you. I can't tell you exactly how many are like competing, but I can tell you like. Obviously, for like the World Championships, Olympics, there's only eight lanes on the track, mm -hmm. so the final is always gonna be just eight people. And then um, I know, I know. It is it's so interesting. And then um, when we have like meets in between, our series is called the Diamond League series, uh -huh. which there's there's meets below that one, but those are the series of meets that like you want to be in. Uh -huh. um, again, only eight lanes, so you probably have about. I'd say 20 to 30 athletes competing for eight lanes at all times. So it's it's rough. Out of the world, <laughs> let yeah. me say that. So yeah. let me ask you a question. When you I went and marched on Saturday. She sends me her nails. I'm like, you go, girl. Yeah. Here with Natasha <laughs> Hastings for diamonds for breakfast. Diamonds for breakfast. I'm going so excited. Woohoo! I want to find out the training secrets and the best cheap food, right? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> okay. Great. And make Wait, three, two. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm here with Natasha Hastings, live from the Diamonds Unleashed conference room here in New York City. And we're having a little Brian Diamonds for Breakfast yes. chat today with Natasha. Yes. So welcome. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. How are me. you doing? I'm, I'm good. I'm trying to figure out where I am because I'm doing so much traveling right now, but I'm doing amazing. You're doing amazing. Yeah. So where are you traveling to? Where did you just come back from? So I live in Texas, that's where I train now, but I was in Miami for the weekend and then I flew up here uh, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday wow. morning. And then I go back to Texas tomorrow, so I'm like everywhere. Jet set. Yeah. How do you deal with traveling so much and maintaining your schedule and like your healthy lifestyle and that balance? I don't know if that really exists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, balance. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, is, it is hard, but it's kind of the thing that I'm just kind of like, I'm hot now, so who knows how long I'll be hot, so I have to kind of, you know, embrace you it. You'll and always be hot. You. And just planning, honestly, um, and then, you know, once you kind of, I guess traveling is kind of my routine, so I'm kind of used to, like, figuring out just throwing certain things in the bag and just kind of living out of the suitcase, I guess. That's tough sometimes. It is, it is. I tell people, you know, it's amazing to travel, but it does get to a point where you're like, I just want to sleep in It's exhausting. Yeah, exactly. yeah, absolutely. So tell me, where, where did you grow up? Brothers and sisters? I actually grew up here in New York. Um, I have one brother. There's 12 years between us, so I say that we got the only child <laughs> experience. <laughs> yeah. But um, I grew up here in New York. I'm from Queens. Um, and then I went off to college in South Carolina. So I'm hoping one day to move back to New York. <laughs> but for now, I'm in Texas. Right now you're in Texas. Okay, cool. So can I ask you, when did you get started? When did you start running? 
I mean, not even professionally. <laughs> just, just when did you start? I think I was born running. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> both of my parents were in track, so it was just kind of the thing that I was just naturally around. Um, my dad was a coach. I used to go to practice with him, and then my mom used to always take me to a track meet called Colgate Women's Games in New York. Well, actually, explain Colgate Women's Games. So What's it's it's actually like um, it's held every January. I think the meet is actually still going on, if I'm not mistaken. But it's a meet that it runs for a month long. So you have um, it's a point system. So for four, actually a lot. It's six weeks. So for four weeks, you're scoring points. And then based on those points, you go into the semifinals on the fifth week, and then the finals is the sixth week. And when I was running, the finals was actually at the Madison Square Garden. I'm not sure. I think they probably do it at the Armory now. But um, this year in particular, which was 1996, um, my mom ran into like a mutual friend that she had when she used to run in Trinidad. And they brought me over to another guy who then said, oh my God, I remember you from like, speaking to my mom, because my mom used to run track in Trinidad. Um, I remember you from, you know, when we used to run in Trinidad. And then he was like, oh my God, I noticed your daughter running too. And then he ended up coaching me, wow. and he coached me all the way through high school. So. Amazing. So he was one of your great mentors and supporters sure. from a young age. For sure. That's fabulous. So can I ask, who's your she hero and why? It would have to be my mom. <laughs> it would have to be my mom. I think a lot of times, Especially as an athlete, people expect me to, you know, be some sort of athlete. But, I mean, I guess my mom was an athlete. But um, I just watched my mom just have incredible resilience. Um, my parents got divorced, and it wasn't the prettiest divorce, but my mom did her best to make sure that my brother and I weren't affected, or even if we were, you know, help us deal with it, you know, and make sure that, you know, we didn't go without or we had what we needed. And I know that it was incredibly hard, but even to this day, I'm 30 years old and I can call my mom and say, hey, mom, <laughs> I need such I need such. you. Yeah. And she just, I mean, I remember a few weeks ago, I was actually here in New York and I put my medal in the mail and it got lost. In the mail? In the mail. We oh won't talk gosh. about why, but I put it in the mail. And I was like near a breakdown, oh. like, and I went to the post office, like, just trying to get it. And my mom was like, I call her, and she's like, It's okay, it'll be all right. She just makes you feel better. And I felt better, but then three hours later, she's like, Okay, so I spoke to such and such. Go pick up your medal tomorrow morning. I don't know how she does it. She has <laughs> superpowers. She just has they superpowers. Have I swear. So I mean, even to this day, she just knows how to make That's my amazing. day, and you know. Would you say that running was your outlet? Um, no matter what's going on in your life, hard times, difficulties, when you run, you feel a certain type of way. What emotions? What do you feel? Absolutely. Um, I'm going to go back to my parents' divorce. I remember that being my best year in my adolescent years because that was my outlet. That was my place where I could just be Natasha. I didn't have to worry about what was going on at home, whatever tension. You know, I just... That was just my outlet. It was the place that I could just let go. And even now, I tell people, when you walk out on the track, there's so many different emotions. There's so much adrenaline, so much anxiety. And the last five minutes before the gun goes off is like the worst five minutes oh. ever. No <laughs> <Because> pressure. <laughs> it's like everything just all in one. And then the gun goes off and it literally like instantaneously just goes away. And you're just almost like free. You know what I mean? So stop number two, I'm at the, how do I say it, Chris Gala? Chris Gala showroom here to pick out some clothes from the Stacy Snyder line for my event tonight. Um, here comes Stacy. <laughs> so I kind of was thinking this one. Okay. Stacy made her clothes for me, she just doesn't know. So how long are you here? Just for the night. <laughs> oh, I got here yesterday. I yours and Sonia's schedule, I'm like, oh, I'm like, you guys are on it's the road stupid. all the time. It's so yeah. stupid. Hi. Hi. So did you have a good time at the track and field gala? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was fun. How about did you? Did you guys stay out late? No, I actually went back to the room. <laughs> Because I had to, I had a flight early the next morning, oh, okay. so 
And I was already pooped. I remember what this one looked like. Um, this one looks fun too. Yeah, that one looks really good on you. And then there is the skirt shirt type combo, but that might be a little too relaxed. Also this blue one from Spring. Ooh. That might look pretty on you. Try that one on. I like, I heard that voice. Hi. I heard that voice. <laughs> Hi, Gorge. Oh my God, I love your hair. Thank you. Thanks, you haven't seen it. Oh yeah, I have those locks in the last one. I may need a little steam. Yeah, so we'll try these. Do you want to pull it in there? Or... Thank you. You're welcome. Can you just hit the red button? Okay, Lala, and then said he really wants to do um, an event with us. Um, yeah, this one looks really I mean, uh, right? Wait, how many times are there? This is her team. I love it. Natasha is. <laughs> She's the new Snyder model. <laughs> We're going to be. That was are amazing. you saying yes to the dress? I'm saying yes to the dress. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help myself. Sometimes yes. I do watch that show. Oh, me too. I can't help myself. Me too. I can't help myself. Okay, yeah. I think okay. I don't want to try anything. Then I just no, because then you'll just be confused. Yeah. Like, we love this, let's go with it. Right now, too. It's like, what are we going to have for dessert? <laughs> yeah, sure. the so, I'm here with Stacy. We're at the Criscala showroom. This is Stacy from Stacy Snyder. We ran into you last week, right? What day is today? It was last week at the Black Tie and Sneaker and Gay Lunch. But we didn't really get to get into like Stacy's design and why this works out so well she didn't know that she designed her pieces for me <laughs> but everything fits me like amazing but stacy i kind of want you to tell a little bit about your story well my background is in athletics uh, and so i think that's why it's a perfect match yes. so i understand the female body very well and the body emotion and that's part of what the brand is about too so um, my background, I have uh, my master's in fashion design, and then um, I went to university on a scholarship and was a professional athlete. Go um, track girls. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, but this is my passion. So track and field and fashion are the passions. Um, so it's a good fusion, and it's great to find women that love the brand and can um, express it and wear it so well. Yeah, what I love about the pieces are they're definitely edgy, but they're red carpet, but it's still like fun and comfortable. Yeah. So, you know, you're not giving up that piece of being comfortable for the sake of fashion. Yeah, so. there's not a sacrifice no. where you're dying. You're like, I can't wait to get this garment exactly. off. Exactly. So, Stacy got me dressed for tonight. You'll see my, my fit for this evening. I'm going to be looking fabulous. And we're both New Yorkers, yes. so it's actually even more special. Exactly. It was a marriage meant to happen. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I'm excited to see you tonight. Alright, successful morning into Diamonds Unleashed in the Criscala showroom. I'm headed back up to my hotel now. I'm going to relax until tonight's event. So stay tuned. I'm new at this, so I gotta figure out like how to let me see. <laughs> <laughs> 